Hi. Um, this dream that I had was just pertaining to me, I believe, but I thought I'd share it because it was so awesome and the Lord is good. Um, I had a dream. Oh, I don't know. It has to have been like... Um, I'm trying to think. Today's the 15th. It was probably about October 6th or 7th. I had this dream um, where I was with my family down by a beach and um, just my autistic, my 26 year old son was with me um, down in the water. We were wading um, from the depth between our knees and hips out in the water and um, the rest of my family was in like the resort or whatever behind the beach. Um, there were many other people in the water and um, so and my son, I was standing on the right side and my son was about 20 feet to my left and we were in about the same depth of water and um, we were just, you know, talking back and forth and um, enjoying the water, talking about going out further. And then we looked up and um, this is what we saw. <laughs> pretend like you know I'm standing here and he's standing over here and um, there's other people in the water um, further out and closer in and um, but we're both standing there and this big sheet a wall of water was coming towards us and we were it was about 150 yards away and it was about 100 feet high um, so it was just this huge tsunami just coming and straight up like you see this wave here it was not ready to curl at all and um, so we were we, we both saw it at the same time and then you know I told my son I said well it's too close to run um, from it so we're gonna have to try to swim through it and um, I told him just to pray and ask for the Lord to protect him and get him through it and um, he said okay and um, so I did the same and so we both were praying on our own <laughs> and he still was like 20 feet away and some of the people in the water started saw it and started running you know towards the resort away from the wave although there was no way they were gonna have time to get away nor the people in the resort for that matter because it was so large and um, we um, started walking slowly towards it my my son and I and um, there were other people in the water that didn't even see it coming um, they didn't even realize they were clueless and so they were just going on about their business um, but my son and I were just praying for God's protection and um, for for him to guide us and get us through it and so we started slowly walking towards it and so it came closer and closer and um, to the point where it was like right in front of us and I told Stephen to take as big a breath as he could and then just try to swim you know through it although it's so large it would be impossible but it still wasn't breaking it it was still just uh, crest you know cresting so um, then I couldn't see him anymore and um, because the wave was right in front of me I could feel the wind from it on my face and um, I took a breath to hold and um, I thought no that's not big enough so I let go of my air and I was gonna take another breath but I realized the water was touching it was like going over my head so now basically the water was past my face and past my head and um, you know I'm still standing upright and um, I didn't feel like the pressure of the wave or anything I could just feel the air and um, so even though the wave started to go over me and surround me um, 
it wasn't affecting me. I didn't feel the weight of the water or the pressure, the force of it, and I didn't um, feel the wetness really of it, you know, besides what I had been standing in already. It didn't feel like anything had changed, and um, even though the water had gone past my head, I could still, I said, well, I better take another deep breath, and I took a deep breath, and I realized even though the water was beyond my head, I could still breathe, and so it was like I was surrounded by air, like an air pocket, and I prayed that the same was for Stephen, and um, that I would see him, you know, on the other side of the wave, and, um, and I knew I would, so... Anyways, that was the dream, and the Lord revealed to me that um, even though um, trials or hard times may come, such as this wave, that um, he's still going to protect us, those who are serving him and um, asking for his protection and um, for him to guide and bring, him, bring them through. So, you know... And he will, he will because he's faithful and just and merciful um, and loving to those especially that serve and follow him. And with God, all things are possible. So that's what this dream showed me was that as long as I keep focused on him and not the circumstances um, that may come around me, um, like those people that were running in fear, as long as I remain fearless and um, and confident that the Lord will bring me through anything that comes my way, such as this wave, that um, he will deliver me and um, he'll bring me through it. Un unscathed. So <clears throat> he brought this verse to my mind, um, Isaiah 43, 2. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I gave Egypt for your ransom, Ethiopia and Seba in your place. Since you were precious in my sight, you have been honored, and I have loved you. Therefore, I will give men for you and people for your life. Fear not, for I am, with, I am with you. I will bring your descendants from the east and gather you from the west. I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not keep them back. Bring my sons from a farm and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Everyone who call, is called by my name, whom I have created for my glory, I have formed him, yes, I have made, them, made him. So God is good. Um, he will protect us and bring us to him and um, and he says I am with you and so even though we can't see him just trust and believe that he is there and he will protect and guide you in all things and that um, his desire is for us to acknowledge him and to um, seek him in times of trouble or in times of um, trials so that, because um, he says if we ask, he'll do anything. Um, and again, that's not referring to asking for a million dollars, but he says we don't have because we don't ask. So ask for protection and guidance and for deliverance through hard times or trials, people. And um, because he is faithful, even if we are faithless, he remains faithful because he can't deny himself. And... Um, he loves us uh, more than we can imagine, and he desires that we have that relationship with him um, and that we seek him in all things. God bless.